Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we are going to be going over a very unique blitz coming out of a 3 4 defense. Now, a lot of you guys have, you know, you guys like to dive into different things. We like to stay off meta here, so this blitz is going to help you guys out, especially if you're str struggling to stop some of those annoying players that you guys keep coming up. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below on anything you guys would like to see. If you guys have any questions, leave it down. If you guys have any recommendations, leave it down in the comment section. I mentioned in a previous video that we love 3-4, not 3-4, but looping blitzes, and this is going to double as such. This is going to be something that's going to help you guys out from time to time if you guys are struggling to stop the run as well. And we're coming out of 3-4, so this is going to help even more against the run. Now, you can find the play that we're going to be talking about in the 3-4 playbook, the Bucks, the Cardinals, the Falcons, the Lions, the Patriots, the Steelers, and the Titans, just in case I forget to put the, the, the link into the description when I actually post this video. Now, for personnel-wise, for for personnel -wise, you are going to want to have your starting safety move him to the number two spot. And the reason that we're doing this, and I'm going to bring up my trusty red arrow because it's oh so trusty. If you look here, this is this is the play when you're not putting into any packages. Number 27 is your starting safety. And then the package that we're going to go into, and if you look here, we're going to go into the SS at LB package. And what that's going to do, it's going to take your starting safety or whoever you want starting, and it's going to move him right here to these to this outside linebacker spot essentially making this a three three five sort of formation you have three you have three linemen three linebackers and five deep five defensive backs roaming across the field which is going to you know it's it's essentially going to make it so that you're you, you're going to be able to have a lot more speed on the field that's that's what we want i know we're late in the year and if you guys are playing madden ultimate team this is something that you might want to run but this is also something that you guys can do in regular mode and be very successful with it so we are going to go ahead strong safety at linebacker and the play we're going to be looking at is mike scrape three press okay we do have auto flip on and we have to have uh base auto alignment because what that does is it, it keeps your linebackers right at the line of scrimmage how you want them now pressing is, is going to be an issue but we'll talk about that in a second so mike scrape three and we're going to look at the play. As you can see, Michael Parsons is already lit up. So you already know he's going to be one of the people that's going to be going crazy. Now, we're going to set up the blitz. And the blitz is already set up. But, again, because we are pressing, these guys need to be moved back a little bit. So you guys are not getting bombed over the top. And because we're sending the blitz from that way, we are going to be using this guy here. And the blitz will come in. He's going to loop around. And as you can see, everything is clamped up everything gets clamped up with this and because we have that extra because we have this guy here who is a safety the speed the speed in which he comes in is going to be faster than any linebacker now he is containing so this is going to be what happens but this is a four man blitz yes four man pressure coming in looping through the gap very consistent now the only thing that's going to stop this I'm going to tell you how to stop this immediately is play actions. Any blitz where someone is sending three people, four people, play actions are going to absolutely destroy those blitzes. OK, so please don't get it twisted when it comes to, you know, oh, my God, you, you, you could block a running back and blah, 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 blah. We're, we're, we're going to go through that as well. But play action will shut down any of these types of blitzes. OK. Any blitz that anybody posts where they're where they're trying to showcase it and act like it's the greatest blitz ever. No, just play action against it and you will be absolutely fine. Now, that's if they're only sending about four people. Now, again, I said this is consistent. It is very, very consistent as four man. Pre it, it, this is as consistent as four man pressure that you're going to get in Madden. And you're coming out of a three, four formation where you're also able to pretty much manipulate the ai as much as possible out of this formation so let's run it one more time and then we're going to run it against a block a blocked running back just to showcase how consistent it is once again you see the pressure you see it consistently 
it's come in three times already and it's very very easy to set up and because we're base aligning the only thing that we are going to have to do is make sure that these guys are going back a little bit so they're not absolutely burnt your cornerbacks your cornerbacks have to move back just a little bit so that they're not lined up right here because we are base aligning so once you come out of the huddle and you press after we go over the adjustments these two guys here tr trust the arrow again this guy here and this guy here will end up will end up uh on the wrong side of a i'm pretty much on the wrong side of a bomb that's going over the top now that's the first time that it got caught up but hey we're okay with that now we're gonna go over the setup and then I'll show it to you against a blocking running back as well. But we are going to go over the setup first, and it's very, very simple. We're going to go over it once for you guys that are pros at Madden, and you guys are summer pros, and you guys don't need any time. You guys just need the setup, and that's it. And then we're going to go over it once again for those of you guys who are new to the game, who are you know who still need more so of the basics down pressed. We'll go over it step by step with you guys. So if you guys want it quick, all, you, all you're going to have to do is pinch your entire defense Crash your D-line to the left. This is what it looks like so far. Take this. You you can. This is optional. You can blitz this guy. You can put him in, in a spy, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, but I'm going to crash them to the left. And I'm going to take this guy. And I'm going to put him. Let's just, let's just put him on a vert hook. Okay? You don't have to put him on a vert hook. You can put him on anything that you guys want. And then you're going to want to contain. So this is what it looks like. And then you're going to hover right next to the, the defensive tackle. And then once they call hike, you're kind of you're going to kind of kind of hover towards the opposite side of where the blitz is coming from. So the blitz is going to be blitzing from the left side. So you're going to take your user and you're kind of going to going to move slightly towards the right first. And then you're going to go guard whatever it is that you need to go guard. OK, so let's do this. Let's call it. As you can see, the loop is coming around, and that time, both of them got, got through, and we ended up getting a nice little disengage because of the loop. So let's showcase that one time. Michael Parsons is lit up, but he's not engaging with, with, with anybody for, for it to actually matter. And this being four-man pressure, it's, gonna, it's definitely going to work against whoever it is that you guys are playing against. So again, as you can see, boom, boom. Let, let's run that back one more time. And it's very easy to set up. I clicked on the wrong guy. It's, ar it's already set up. Very, very quick. Very, very simple. And again, oh, that that time, that time, it's a perfect example of something that you don't want, want, want to do. That time, I lean towards the left, and you don't want to do that because it shifts the it shifts the old lineman to the left as well. As you can see, as soon as I I I, I didn't go to the to the right side, I went to the left side, which caused the lineman to sort of react more towards that left side that's not what, what we want to do we want to hover towards that right side so let's do it one more time oh. uh, eh, eh. all right cool they call a hike we hover toward towards that right side and as you can see hum humming through now for those of you guys who are brand new to the game of madden not brand new but you know you guys are you guys struggle on on, on the basics this is going to be something very simple for you guys to run all you're going to want to do is pinch your entire defense so that's r1 or right bumper as you can see here i forgot i could bring on my trusty red arrow as you can see here you're going to take your left stick and move it down it says pinch Okay, that's what the play looks like right now. Then you're going to want to crash your D-line to the left. So that's left on the directional pad, which brings up again here. And then you're going to, your point of attack, you're going to slant to the left. You're going to slant the way that the, that the linebacker that's blitzing is. So this linebacker here is blitzing to the left. So you're going to crash your D-line to that side. Then you're going to want to contain. Now, I might have just messed up the blitz by move, my, by motioning that guy in. But then you're going to want to contain, which is right bumper and then right bumper. And that's what the play looks like. And it's optional. You don't need to do it, but it's optional if you guys want to take this guy here and put him on some type of coverage. If you guys are facing someone with a skate artist, put your curl flats down to, to zero and put him on a curl flat so he, he's out there to actually guard something. This is what the play is going to look like. And then you're going to take your user... Which is which most likely is going to be your middle linebacker, and you're going to hover right in between the gap between the center and the right guard. 
And then once you call hike, you're gonna take your user and you're gonna move move them slightly towards the right because it's gonna help manipulate the the uh, the D line. So let's call hike. I'm gonna move to the right a little bit, and as you can see, very consistent blitz, very good pressure, very good coverage behind it, and it's gonna be very very annoying for whoever it is that you guys are playing. Now again, we always get a lot of naysayers when I post something on the channel about blocking running backs and oh man you're sending five against five well let's go block a running back out of out of a formation real quick and right now smash perfect play mike scrape three press perfect play this time we're going to be sending it towards the opposite side so again same exact setup we're going to pinch but this time we're going we're this time we're going to use the opposite side linebacker so last time because the blitz was flipped michael parsons was the one that that was going over so we had to pinch and crash our D-line to the left. But now we're, we're going to flip the play so that it comes in on the same side as the running back. Because it we have auto alignment flip on. Um, we have defensive auto defensive flip on, which means that the strong side is going to be blitzing towards pretty much where the running back or where the extra tight end is. So what we're going to do, crash our D-line, contain, move this guy here. And again, we are block, we are sending four people, okay? We are sending four people. As you can see, the running back is being blocked. And then once we call a hike, we are going to get crazy pressure looping right around. Now, my own user ended up getting stuck there. So I'll run that back one more time. Because when this happens, unfortunately, the, the running back glitch happens, which is it works in our favor, unfortunately. But as you can see, boom, there's the blitz. And then we're going to take the running back and we're going to block them. Boom. As you guys can see, the running back is blocking. You call hike, you loop across. And as you can see, man, they, they can't stop it. And yeah, O was open, but we didn't make any adjustments either. So that's the blitz. That is the instant pressure with four. It's it's a four man blitz. You, It's very, very hard to top a four man blitz. Um, I haven't seen any three man blitzes. I've seen a two man blitz once. Um, and if I can get a if I can get a hold of that one, I will see if I can post that on the channel. But this is this is almost as, as good as it gets when it comes to blitzes because a four man blitz coming out of something where um, you guys have five defensive backs is going to be very very helpful. And, and as you can see, right around the running back, and it's just with four people, and everything else looks absolutely clamped up too. So we have this route <laughs> we have this route clamped up with with a seam flat. We have this route clamped up. The only thing that was open was this route right here, but a, a lot of people aren't looking for for the hitch most of the time. So, hopefully this blitz is worthy enough of a like from whoever it is that is watching my name is pony montana if you guys have any questions as always leave it down in the comment section below if you guys have any blitzes that i that i haven't ran please leave it down in the comment section and i'll make a video about it showcasing how good or bad it possibly is but yes my name is pony montana and i will see you guys in the next video as always two fingers deuces and peace out you guys